Good late Saturday evening. I'm certified meteorologist Nick Kelly checking in on this August 25th of 2018. In the words of Ricky Ricardo, I have some splaining to do. Yesterday, I was anticipating partly the mostly sunny skies and a hot and humid day with highs pushing into the mid-90s. But just when you think you have Mother Nature figured out, sometimes she likes to throw a curveball your way. Let's look back in the sky watch storm tracker. Let's look at what happened today. That was what we had to deal with. Quite a bit of cloud cover to start the morning out, and even some showers, even a few random thunderstorms across parts of the area. So why did we see that come across the area today? We don't have to look very far for the answer. Let's go upstairs, almost a mile up, 5,000 feet up at 850 millibars. That particular level of the atmosphere is where we look to find a certain feature in terms of the winds. We see the wind arrows plotted from that surface along with these contours here. That is actually called a low-level jet. That's a good corridor of warm air and moisture streaming in from the south and southwest. And it definitely did, since those wind speeds were ranging anywhere between 30 and 50 miles per hour. So we were already warm and muggy at the surface throughout the overnight to start the warning out. This has added more warmth and more instability, and you can even argue some more moisture as well. Then we needed a trigger. Believe it or not, we actually had a quick moving upper level disturbance pass on through earlier today. That was just enough to get that cloud cover and those rain chances across the area, or parts of the area at least for today. Thankfully, bone dry on the Skywatch Storm Tracker. And at the very least, we had some peaks of the sun this afternoon before we saw the sun set from our tower cam from 7th and Range Line from the east side of Joplin. But we tried our best to warm up. We uh, started at 77 this morning and topped out around 87 degrees this afternoon. No rain in the rain bucket officially today. We'll see if we can get some better rain chances in here along the way. Right now, though, in Joplin, before we hit the top of the 10 o'clock hour, we were at 81. Still muggy and warm. With thanks to a dew point at 72, it felt like 85 degrees outside. Some of us were actually trying our best to warm up because of the cloud cover around the start of the afternoon. We were sitting maybe upper 70s, lower 80s. We tried our best to peak into the upper 80s, so about 90 degrees before sunset this evening. And look at where we sat before the 10 o'clock hour. Still warm, upper 70s and lower 80s. Not to mention the dew points were actually really pushing it today. Throughout the afternoon, even at the start of the evening, we were seeing dew points pushing close to 80 degrees. That is a ripe air mass almost very tropical, something that we would normally find out in parts of Florida or somewhere along the Gulf Coast, let alone here in our part of the lower 48. Let's get back to the mass now. We, I would not be surprised if we had some scattered cloud cover try to work in throughout the overnight, but thunderstorms, I'm not anticipating any. I do see some lining up around the panhandles of Oklahoma and Texas and parts of western Kansas. Those should not be an issue for us tonight, and I'm not anticipating any issues for your Sunday because we will be under the influence of this upper-level ridge that will set the tone as we get the new work week and school week ahead of us underway. For tomorrow, it's all about that big blue H upstairs keeping us dry but hot and humid for your Sunday. We'll just repeat that again for your Monday and Tuesday with partly the mostly sunny skies and just hot and humid but dry. It's not until Tuesday night. Then going through the middle of the week, that the, the uh, jet stream sends some disturbances along the way, and that will ramp up our thunderstorm chances. If you're wondering when we'll need the rain gear again, not tomorrow, not Monday, not Tuesday. It'll be Tuesday night going through Wednesday and Thursday before we try and get a little bit of a break as we get next weekend started. For tonight, though, I think we're in the clear. Partly cloudy to mostly clear skies, just passing cloud cover. Otherwise, that south breeze is going to keep us... Oh, goodness, just warm and muggy tonight. Lows will start around 76, and that south breeze will only pick up at 10 to 15, and gusts near 25 at times. That will push us to 89 by lunchtime, 93 for a high in Joplin tomorrow afternoon under eventually mostly sunny skies. Everybody should at least go around 93 degrees tomorrow, but keep in mind the dew points will still be up there too. Since we're looking at a humid afternoon ahead of us, it may feel close to 100 degrees by the time we get the afternoon started, and you saw for yourself there, I'll pop it up one more time for you, it may feel like 100 to about 104 degrees as we go into your Sunday afternoon. Let's look at the seven-day forecast now. 92 Monday, 92 Tuesday, both of those days are looking quiet. Then it's late Tuesday night into Wednesday and Thursday. The rain chances ramp up. That should drop highs back into the mid-80s. 
A quick break on Friday, but back into the heat with highs near 92. And we'll hold near 90 by next Saturday, and I'll see if another system can try to work in and give us some scattered thunderstorms by next Saturday. Have a good night, and have a great Sunday.